Hey YouTubers, um, I just wanted to go ahead and give you an update on the date with the radio uh, personality. Um, not my type, unfortunately. Um, there was some kind of odor coming from him. So that's the first thing I'm going to say about him that was not going to allow me to move forward with him, no matter how nice of a guy he is, was, which he turned out not to be such a nice guy, but um, went to this club in Hollywood that is totally not my kind of venue that I frequent. I just don't go to these kind of places. Not my style. There were all 20-somethings there. He and I were the only people maybe over 30. Um, I don't even know if there were any 30-year-olds there. But they had a WFC championship going on. I'm sorry. I'm not into uh, ultimate fighting and people beating the freaking crap out of each other and almost killing each other. That's just not what I'm into, but they were all totally into that stuff. And uh, screaming and yelling and cheering for these people beating each other up. And I was just, uh, not good. But immediately I had noticed the body odor. Also that he was way older than his photos. He had lied about his age. His age is 48 on Plenty of Fish. He's not 53 like he admitted. He is way older. I don't care what anybody says. He made a few errors uh, talking about TV shows that he watched. If he was 53, which is not um, old enough to watch some of these other shows that he mentioned, he he's not telling the truth. And not only that, he made me drive all the way to Hollywood because both of his cars were in the shop. He has two cars that were in the shop. One had a lot of major issues that needed to be in the shop. The second one just needed some service done. And also he needed to get it smog so that he could get his tags. Well, he said that it didn't, it was the guy didn't have time to smog it. So he couldn't get a tag, so he couldn't use the car, so he could not drive to the place, so he had to take a bus, so it had to be closer to where he lived. So we get there, or I get there, and odor, older, older, and there's an odor, and he couldn't remember if he ordered any food to eat yet. And he didn't offer to order food for me. The waiter comes up and he orders. And I'm like, okay. So we're sitting there and food comes. And he's like, who ordered this? And the guy said, you did. He said, no, I didn't order this. He goes, but I'll eat it. That's fine. The other food comes. He doesn't even remember ordering the second food. Then he asks me if I want anything. And I was like, yeah, that would be nice. So I ordered something. I said, how about something we could share? Ordered potato skins that were really good. Although, he double dips. He took a potato skin on his fork, part of his potato skin. Dipped it in the ranch dressing. Took a bite and then dipped it again. And that was enough for me. No more ranch dressing for me. Oh, hell no. Double dipping ain't going to work for me if, if, unless I know you. And I don't know this dude. Um, really shabbily dressed. All in black. I guess that was supposed to hide the fact that he was extremely overweight. I don't have a problem with, with it. Why are you saying that you're athletic? You don't have an athletic build unless your stomach does the push-ups for you. I mean, really, big gut. Not an attractive man at all. Unfortunately, his pictures were photoshopped 
Now I know. I thought they looked kind of weird. If you think something is not kosher, don't go out with this person. I'm an idiot. So I learned my lesson. Photos that look kind of worked on are worked on. So he's African American, which I don't care. If you're a nice guy and you're without body odor, he, um, today, uh, well, anyways, I'll go back, go back. It's just so much going through my head right now about him. Um, there they had two women's restrooms. Now I'm already feeling uncomfortable about the whole thing, not being able to remember about it what he ordered and not ordering me anything and then double dipping and I'm just freaked out. He smells bad. The smell is coming across the table at me. I'm like, whoa, I have to go to the bathroom. The woman's bathroom on the bottom level is flooded. Bad. Just everything bad. Everything bad that could happen, bad. So I had to go up these stairs to go to another woman's bathroom. And when I was coming down, I noticed, well, when I was going up, I noticed that it was really dark. The stairs were really dark and I had to be careful going up. When I came down, it seemed like it was even more dark at the very bottom of the stairs and I missed a step and I sprained my left ankle. Not where I can't walk, but walking is uncomfortable and it hurts and I have it wrapped. And no, I didn't go to the hospital, but I did tell a manager there about this and the manager was completely and totally not giving a shit. Didn't ask my name. Didn't file a report. Just started walking away. I said, excuse me, what is your name? And he said, Mike. And I said, Mike, I twisted my ankle. Do you have to go to the hospital? I'm like, not at this point. Are you sure you don't have to go to the hospital? Really rude. And I said, not at this point. Okay, sorry. I'll go put more light on the stairs. There should have been a lot of light on the stairs. Stairs, dark, dangerous. So I will go ahead and I will call probably on Tuesday since this is Memorial Weekend. Um, I will go ahead and call on Tuesday and complain and tell them that I will be going to urgent care if my ankle feels uh, bad um, that day, on Tuesday. If it does, I will go to urgent care because it's hurting. Um, I don't think I broke anything. It's definitely muscular. I, uh, my heel, my I never wear high heels. My boots had high heels. I never wear high heels. Just thought I'd wear high, high heels. And um, my heel caught on the step and twisted my ankle. If I wasn't wearing heels, I wouldn't have gotten caught on the last step that I couldn't see, and I wouldn't have twisted my ankle. But say la vie. So anyway, I hurt myself. You know, I tell the, the manager right in front of this guy. His name's Scott. I'm I, right in front of Scott. This manager and I are talking. And so Scott, I told Scott right away that I hurt myself. He says, oh my gosh, that's terrible. And I told him what happened. He's like, oh my goodness, that's terrible. Long story short, we end the evening. He goes ahead and he pays, of course, very nicely, uh, um, pays for me and gives me money for the valet parking, which I thought he'd forget to do that since he couldn't remember what he ate and also, or what he ordered. And then when the waiter came over, the waiter gave him his card back, his credit card, he signed. So we're just sitting there for a little bit longer, drinking our drinks. And um, all of a sudden he goes, I'm waiting for my card. When is the guy going to bring the card back? And I said, he's, he already brought you the card. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. I said, look in your wallet. He just gave you your credit card back. He didn't give me my credit card back. What are you talking about? And I said, you signed? He gave you it? You signed? You're done. You even gave him the tip already. And you gave me $5 for the valet parking. He didn't give me my card back. I said, please, just look in your wallet. Oh, he gave me my card back. So we're just sitting there a little bit longer, eating or drinking our drinks. And he goes, man, I am so hungry. I wish I would have remembered to order something to eat. He goes, but I guess you just wanted to have drinks.
Okay. I said, we already ate. He said, when, when did you eat? <laughs> Shut up, Scott. What are you talking about? He's like, what? And he was weirded out by me. I said, Scott, we just ate. You, you had two things for yourself. I said, you had chicken skewers and then you had spring rolls. What are you talking about? Mindy. I said, then I ordered potato skins for us to share. I'm hungry and I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, let's go. Oh boy. So we walk out to that, the valet and he goes to give me money again. And I said, you already gave me $5. He goes, no. He goes, no. I, oh, I said, no. I said, no, you don't, don't give me any money. And he goes, um, that's what uh, I said. No, don't give me any money. And he goes, well, I said I was going to pay for your valet. I said, Scott, you already gave me $5. Oh. All right, bye. See ya. Hugs. I'll call you later. I was just like, I wanted to never talk to him again. But I wouldn't be rude. If I did talk to him, it'd be fine. It'd be not, it would not be a problem. I'm pulling out uh, the driveway and he's getting in to his car. I thought that you didn't have a car. So I rolled my window down. I said, I thought you didn't have a car and that you needed to take public, public transportation. He goes, what? I said, the reason why we, can't, we stay closer to where you live is because you didn't want to take public transportation all the way over to me, that your car was in the shop. I said, are you Scott from the radio station on the AM channel? He's like, yes. I go, well, who the, I, I mean, I'm yelling from the driveway as I'm pulling out. His car's parked right there. He's getting into his car and I'm yelling this to him. I said, are you the same guy I talked to last night for over three and a half hours? He's like, yes. What are you talking about? Didn't you say that your bus ride would be too long to drive to the valley and that your car was in the shop? My car's right here, Mindy. Now, mind you, talked to him on the phone, said he couldn't ride the bus all the way to me, that he didn't have his car, it was in the shop, told me where to go, so this is the same guy. I wasn't talking to any other guys. This is the same guy that told me to meet him at this happy ending bar because he couldn't take the bus all the way to me so I'd have to come closer to him so he could take the bus to this happy ending bar. He said that he would take the bus because he's so much closer to the happy ending bar by bus that it'd be okay that he could take the bus. <sighs> all right, so he goes, I'll, t I'll call you in about 45 minutes, I'll give you enough time to get home and I'll call you. Okay. So I get home and no phone call because he probably forgot to call me. I get on the website that he's on and I was going to just back bow out gracefully and tell him, you know, I didn't feel connection. And I think that we should, you know, just, you know, cut any kind of ties. Didn't want to tell him that he was fucking, you know, amnesic or having Alzheimer's moments or whatever, which I think could be the case because it's so huge, um, his moments, um, and he's older than he said he was. So I didn't, I just was going on there to email him and that was going to be it. Um, cause he didn't call me and he didn't call me this morning. And, oh, I'm sorry. And when I was driving away, or when I was still in the driveway saying goodbye, he said he was going to call me 45 minutes later. He said that, um, you know, he wanted to know, what time do you get up in the morning? So he knew, you know, I told him I was going to get up about 10, which was a lie. I just didn't want him to call me in the morning at all because I was going to tell him bye-bye. So he's on there. Perfect. So I message him and instant chat comes up. 
I'm like, hello. And he's like, hello, green eyes. I'm like, how are you? He's like, how are you? And I said, my ankle hurts really bad today. He's like, why? What happened to your ankle? I said, you're kidding, right? And he's like, no. What do you mean? Kidding. What happened to your ankle? I said, uh, you were with me when I fell down the stairs at the bar last night. He's like, what stairs were there? I said, we're going back and forth. I say the stairs from the ladies' room upstairs. I fell down, blah, blah, blah. Remember, I was talking to the manager, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh. He goes, well, <clears throat> I didn't know that you had hurt yourself. Huh. Okay. So I say, I say, I'm confused. I'm confused. You are are having issues me remembering me hurting myself falling down the stairs. We discussed it at length that my ankle was hurting. I was limping when I was going out to the car and I'm very confused. And he said, um, well, no, I remember you falling down and I guess it clicked because I remember you falling down. I just wondered what else ha had happened to you between last night and this morning. I said, nothing has happened to me. I said, I said, Scott, are you having problems remembering things because you don't get enough sleep? You work really odd hours. You work 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. in, you know, at night for uh, your career. I said, are you not getting enough sleep? I said, you're having sleeping is or memory issues because you're not getting enough sleep. Um... And he just completely was like, what are you talking about? I said, well, you didn't remember what you ordered two times. You didn't remember that you got your credit card back. So I'm just wondering if you're having problems remembering things because you might want to check that out. He went into that it was because he was black, which <laughs> he used some terms the N-word, um, that I thought that he was a dumb N, and that also that um, he thinks that all white folk think that all black people are fucking dummies, and it just went on, and I said, we're done. I said, that has nothing to do with it. I said, I knew that you were an African-American person when I accepted the date with you. Why the hell would I think anything derogatory about you at all? And I didn't bring up that he smelled bad. I didn't bring up that he double dipped. I didn't bring up anything like that. I just said, you have memory problems. And more than anything, it's like, dude, don't lie about your age. He had to be in his 60s, his mid to late 60s. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting all choked up. I'm going over eight and a half minutes here. I'm sorry, 18 and a half minutes. I hate when my videos are too long. So that's about it. It didn't work out. Ain't going to be happening. And I'm pretty much uh, going to like really be careful with who I accept dates from. <coughs> sorry. Um, Photoshop is Photoshop. <coughs> There's something they're hiding. Sorry, allergies. I will let you guys go. Peace, love. Bye.